Hi everybody, it's Boaz Faller and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for May 2nd, 2016. So, the moon is in Pisces today, squaring Mars if you are in your, in your morning time. It's a time that we are agitated more easily, we're intolerant, we have to be careful not to go into conflicts in our lives. And later on, at around 1300 hours, that's around 6 a.m., 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, there's a conjunction to Neptune. This is a very sensitive day. I mean, the moon in Pisces is making us sensitive already, taking us out of space and time into the Neptunian uh, eternal waters, you know? And, and the conjunction to Neptune even makes it more so. This is not a good day for business dealings. This is not a good day for logical decisions. This is not a good day for work environments. This is a great day for anything spiritual, anything artistic, anything creative, for romance. All these endeavors like meditation, yoga, reconnecting to nature, going on a trip, all of these are very good today, you know, because there's something emotional within us that could reconnect to those places. But the same emotional place could make us very vulnerable or prone to emotional outbursts in another kind of environment. <clears throat> There is an opposition to Jupiter at around 1500 hours Central European time, that's 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, really talking to us about the need to re remain, uh, to act in humility, okay, to stay away from extravagance, to take our uh, aims uh, a little lower down to the ground of reality, to remain realistic. And then there's a square to Saturn at around 1700 hours Central European time, that's around 1100 hours Eastern Standard Time, making us feel that we're not getting enough honor, support from our surroundings, maybe from authoritative figures, not enough respect, and we need to do things on our own. We need to, <clears throat> we need to um, really uh, stand up to our responsibilities and go on, on our way regardless. And there's a sextile to Pluto a little onwards, around 1600 hours Eastern Standard Time, 2200 hours Central European Time, that tells us and shows us that we are strong, that we've got the inner strengths. Isn't it beautiful how they work together? And then later on, if you are in America, you could feel the opposition to Aegea at around 1900 hours Eastern Standard Time. Again, health issues are on the table. Generally speaking, we are in a very beautiful few days, a lot of pleasant energy in the sky coming from the sun, sextiling Neptune, trining Jupiter, benevolence, life feels plentiful and abundant, we feel optimistic and we could really replenish our energies and recharge and enjoy. And with Venus in Taurus, the best way to do it is reconnect to nature, reconnect to the blooming beauty of nature outside your window or outside your door really the simple things, the eternal things, and the classics, all the beautiful aesthetics of nature is a good place for us to replenish our energies with all this mutable energy in the skies. So, thank you for listening, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.